Tonight, the American Cancer Society is out with important reminders during Lung Cancer Awareness Month. Smoking, yes, we know, presents the greatest risk, but there are other forms of lung cancer. And tonight, there are new guidelines about who should get screened and how often. Dr. Omar Awan, uh, I want to make sure I pronounce your name right, is an expert on all things cancer. Dr. Awan, did I get it right, Omar or Omar? You got it right, Del. Thank you so much for having me. That, you know, um, cars no longer have ashtrays. I remember a time when everybody this time of year was making plans to get an ashtray for their parents. Cars don't have ashtrays. Um, how bad is the issue, though, still of lung cancer in America decades after the American Cancer Society came out with those warning labels on cigarette packs? Well, it's definitely gotten better, Dell. but the reality is, is that lung cancer is still one of the most common cancers in America, and it's the number one cause of cancer death in America. We're talking about uh, the American Cancer Society has said that 127,000 people, Americans, will die of lung cancer just this year. So really important to remember uh, and to spread awareness about lung cancer and what we can do to prevent lung cancer. I forward. saw I saw a story today where a 35-year-old man um, basically needed a double lung transplant because of smoking cigarettes and vaping. Are you seeing the patients getting younger or, or are they... Are the numbers relatively the same? Well, we're seeing a wide spectrum of people, you know, getting lung cancer, and that includes young individuals and includes those that are older. And, you know, cancer is on the rise in young individuals. You know, there was a recent study that showed that, you know, cancer is increasing in patients that are between the ages of 30 and 40. So definitely this is a problem. We don't entirely know for sure if e-cigarettes and vaping are directly attributable to lung cancer, but it doesn't mean that they're not. So uh, we have to be very careful about all of these things, all these carcinogens, all these things that we put into our body that could potentially be causing cancer. But definitely, uh, you know, nicotine, which is, you know, what's causing the cancer and smoking, 80 to 90% of lung cancer is a result of smoking. And of course, nicotine being the, the, the bad substance that's causing it. Doctor, what is it about a cigarette that causes people to want to smoke one? Um, like I said, they've been out with these warnings now on the cigarette labeling for decades, dating all the way back to the Marlboro Man. Why do young people smoke when they know it is the number one cause of lung cancer? Well, I think it's a number of causes. And, you know, I can't speak for it completely because I myself don't smoke. But with that said, you know, it's addicting, right? You know, it, it triggers certain parts of the body and the brain that, causes addiction and then you want to do more and more. For young individuals, I think there's an element of peer pressure as well. Uh, you start to see your friends smoking, there's a social component and you want to be accepted. So you uh, tend to smoke because of that. But you know, I think there's a lot of different reasons why people are smoking. But the good news is that, that I think there's a lot more awareness now with respect to lung cancer, what it does, how deadly it is, what it can do to you, your family, and the more awareness that we can spread, the better we can get on the curve for preventing more and more lung cancers. Doctor, this is going to freak people out. Uh, the new guidelines for cancer screening say that people who are smoking or have smoked in the past should get regular screenings. What does that entail? And is there, I guess, a statute of limitations when it comes to, I haven't been smoking for 30 years, my lungs are okay? Well, according to the new American Cancer Society guidelines, there's really three criteria. One is if you're between the ages of 50 and 80, you should get screened. Also, if you are a current smoker or you've previously smoked, you should get screened. And if you have a 20 pack year history of smoking, you should get screened. You have to meet all three of those criteria to get screened. And I want to explain what a 20 pack year history is because I think that's really confusing. So pretty much that means if you smoke on average one pack a day for 20 years, that's a 20 pack year history. Also, if you smoke two packs a day for 10 years, that's a 20 year, 20 pack year history. If you smoke four packs a day for five years, that also constitutes a 20 pack year history. So you need to have all three of those to uh, qualify to get lung cancer screening. The only way you can get screened for lung cancer is with a low dose CT scan. It's a really easy exam. It literally takes two minutes. Uh, it's you go through a CT machine that takes x-ray pictures of your lungs that identifies whether or not you have a cancer or not. So the lesson is, is that if you qualify, you should absolutely get screened for lung cancer. It saves thousands of lives. Doctor, we talk about lung cancer, but there are other cancers uh, to be screened for. What are they? There are many cancers. So for example, you know, we often screen for cervical cancer with a pap smear. We screen for breast cancer with a mammogram. We screen for colon cancer 
uh, with a colonoscopy. So, you know, these are all meant to save lives. The reason why we screen is so that we can identify a cancer early and we can save lives in the long run. So really, really important for everyone uh, if you meet certain criteria to absolutely get screened. And for lung cancer especially, you know, this is a problem because, you know, less than 6% of the population that's eligible to get screened are getting screened. And that means, Dell, that more than nine in 10 people that should be getting a CT scan for screening are not getting the study. So really important for all of us to educate people and society about the importance of lung cancer so we can save as many lives as possible. Doctor, final question before I let you go. What symptoms should people be aware of to talk about lung cancer with their doctors? I think there's a multitude of symptoms, but typical and common symptoms are things like chest pain, shortness of breath, coughing. You may even be coughing up blood, feeling tired, uh, unexpected weight loss. These are the heralding signs that if you experience this, you should absolutely talk to your doctor uh, and have a conversation about lung cancer and potentially lung cancer screening. Dr. Omar Awan from Baltimore, Maryland, by the way, um, you probably know this, Prince George's County, home of the original Marlboro Man. So that's how far back lung cancer and cigarettes go. Doctor, thanks for being with us. Thank you so much for having me, Dale. You got it.